What is going on guys, it's Mr. Big Z and today I'm bringing you a tutorial video on how to reverse entry, basically. The proper way, I'd say it's the proper way. Uh, you know, it's it's what the real life drifters do. You know, I did some research and you know, there are ways that you can do it, but not full reverse entry. I'm going to show you how to do a full, like, 180 reverse entry. And I'll also show you... Uh, like a, a 90 degree entry and I will also show you this tune so it's a big video for you guys right now I'm driving the Fast and Furious 350Z Z. Um, this first corner I'll just get right into it uh, what you're gonna wanna do I, it's, it's hard to show you while I'm doing it so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do so you drive up to the corner pretty good speed more than what you would want and then you turn in and then keep turning until your car is reversed but keep turning this way um, and then your car will swing back and when you're just about halfway turn the other way and pin it now watch that is a little bit vague but whatever you'll see so get up here and you just e-brake and keep turning that way and then you get here and then you pin it. I didn't time it properly, but you've seen what happened there. Um, you know, this, this turn is a really good turn. I made this about a couple days ago, and it's one of my better ones. It, it has huge forgiveness, and it's great for uh, reverse entries. Let's see if we can find another corner to do one on. Try on this one. I'll just do the half 90 degree. Oh, that didn't work. Way too far. The best thing in drifting and for showing off, doing tricks, uh, all that kind of stuff is find your best car. Find a car that you drive a lot in the game. And then make a drift tune for it because you already know how that car feels and what's what it's gonna do if you do something you know exactly like see I can touch the apex and then touch this apex not that I drive this car a lot but I've driven so many cars so many times here's the reverse entry the 90 degree one not a very good one, but I wasn't planning on that one. one here. So that time, instead of keep turning to the left, I turned a counter steered and just rode it out with the clutch in until I was ready to hammer on it and then I let the clutch out. We're doing 360. Oh, it's hard to do 360s with a rear wheel drive. I'll do another show. Oh, Hopefully uh, you guys can see what I'm doing. I'll try again. But uh, yeah, here yeah, I'll just do a fake one here. Turn, we'll go like this, and then you keep turning that way. Oh, that was actually the wrong way. Oh, wow, that was lucky. <laughs> I was really lucky. So yeah, you turn in, and instead of counter steering right away to keep it, 
just keep turning and the car will swing back because the wheels are already pointing that way so it'll just it'll come back and then it, and then you go like this and then you just hammer and then you should drift out of the corner let's see if we can get a good one here I think that was too far. Yeah, that was a good one. That was real good. Yeah. Overall, this is an amazing tune. I'm pretty sure anyone can drift this car very well. The secret to this tune is the camber. Most people put negative camber in the rear and the front. The trick is to put negative camera in the rear and positive in the front because uh, when, you, when you're turning, if you have pos positive camber, it's going to dig into the road, as you can see there, right there, just a, not, not much, just a little bit. Negative camber will just slip and it won't be as forgiving. I can go in here like this and keep the corner. Uh, I went a little hard there. Like I can ride 90 degree angles entries. No problem. And that's crazy for real wheel drive. Yeah, this is a good corner. that at big time. Oh. Still a work in progress. You know, I'll come back to you guys when I'm a little better at I just started doing this uh, a couple days ago when I made this car. So I'm new to it. I've done more doing the way that people do it real drifters like Mad Mike, he drifts, he, he reverse entries like this, and yeah, I tried it, and it, it works way better than just keeping counter steer all the, all the way like this, you can get a better reverse entry than this one, it's way crazier, Not that that looks, that doesn't look sick, 90 degrees, but I just like the 180. Well, uh, I'm going to show you guys this tune. Tire pressure is just about stock. I'm not too sure what I did with the gearing. Might be stock. There, the camber is positive in the front. Oh, batteries are low. That's no good. No one likes that. This is very important. I'll just let you guys take a look at this. And there you go. That is the tune. Now, like I said, pretty much anyone can drift in this car. I could be wrong, you know. If you can't drift in it, doesn't mean you're a bad drifter. It's not your style of drifting. Everyone has their own style. That was a little wild. But other than that, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned. You know, I've been a little bit busy in real life. I blew up my uh, Supra, so it's in the shop, or it's in the garage, and I'm working on it when I can which is when I can make videos, so instead of making videos, I've been make, or I've been working on my car. Um, building it, basically. It's a 1988 left-hand drive Supra. You can check out my Instagram. And it was a non-turbo 7M GE, and now I'm sw swapping it for a 7M GTE, but I'm building the block, and all the internals and all that stuff and putting a big turbo on it.
big injectors, you know, everything. And you can check that build out on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the video, that helps out a lot. And show your friends. Hope it helps. See you guys.